All right, well, hello there, first friends, another sexy people. My name is Purple Fair Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Volt SMP Season Two. This is Episode Eight. I prefer to call this Volt Squared, but I say Season Two for the people that are unaware. Anyway, um, in this episode, we're actually going to be doing something with the shop that we built yesterday, and uh, I also need to go find squids. But um, before we do any of that, we're obviously going to need mead need the sexy subscriber of the day so let's go ahead and grab a sign and it's gonna be the atomic animator yeah that fit just barely um he made the vault smp intro so that's partially why he's on this wall because he helped us out a lot and he's very supportive very cool guy so uh thank you much for being an amazing subscriber and uh remember if you if you guys um if you guys were on the wall last season, then um, uh, you probably won't be on for a while because I'm trying to get to people that haven't uh, been on it yet because like, I feel I feel bad for them, you know, but I also feel bad for you guys that really want to be on the house in this season. But uh, don't worry, you'll get your turn, I promise. Uh, so let's get some more chicken. Um, we need to breed these, but you know, I don't want it to be overwhelming with chickens. Uh, as you see, it causes causes lag even though it's not that much so um anyway oh i did forget about this do we could we had get squids over here uh oh yes we can all right so that's gonna be helpful we also need to grab a feather which we have there's chicken right here we don't have to go back under these depth strider boots are amazing um i love them you know there are bunnies i don't know what um I don't really understand how bunnies work though. I never really got around to experimenting much with them. So uh probably probably might do something with them later, but as of right now, no. And I need to put a tree. I need to put some more trees and vines and stuff cuz it's looking really bland. But um so we're going to we're going to go over here back to spawn. Stuff is going on at spawn and the server has been active recently, but nobody's on right now because uh for most people on the server it's 10 o'clock or um or later for a few people it's uh um i think 3 a.m those british people but uh still seven here but um yeah i'll try to record earlier but uh since it's a school day and most people have a have a bedtime obviously because you know they got to go to school uh they're probably not on right now all right, so stuff is going on at spawn. First thing you're gonna notice is this town. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, there we go. This town hall right here. Um, I gave him the materials, and uh, Sean started working on this. And uh, what we're gonna do in here? Um, I don't know. It's just a cool town hall. We'll, we'll just hang out. But it's also going to be the center of ATMs where people will be able to get iron blocks in return for diamonds. And um, speaking of the currency, I have to officially announce what it is right here. So, we're, oh, uh, Husky can Husky can wait for the currency. Um, you know, you kind of need you kind of need the currency before you can build a shop. Even though people have already started, I don't think anybody's put up prices yet. And if they have, they're gonna have to change them. But it won't be too hard of a change. Um, basically, what it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like a, kind of like the cubes currency. How I don't know if they're doing it in season two, but last year they had uh, gold blocks as or in replace of diamonds. What we're gonna do here is um, iron blocks in place of diamonds. So, volt currency. Oh, I spelled that wrong, I'm sorry. All right, so what the currency is gonna be. Um, four iron blocks Or, uh, four iron block. No. Let's just say, um, four iron blocks equals one diamond. Now, uh, we're not gonna let people. 
Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you can... You're not allowed to um, use diamonds in your shop. You have to use uh, iron blocks as the currency. So I, I need to make sure to put that down. All right, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that's what the currency is. So um, there's a few other things. I wonder if there's something over here. No, my shop is still over there. As I suspected, uh, I said that this was going to happen. Um, everybody's building their shops over here because it's prime land and nobody's building it over there and half of spawn is gonna be just naked so um i'm just gonna build all of my shops over here so it'll just be like pfg road anyway uh let's check out what everybody else has done at spawn as you as i said we have a current or er, currency and a town hall getting set up there's a little clock up there that looks pretty cool uh what's this all stone brick wall um house of potatoes it's kind of dark so i'm gonna put a torch in your house of potatoes so uh there you go three stacks of potatoes equals one block of iron all right i'll take it that's actually uh <laughs> that's actually um really cheap so uh i don't know if i explained this but um i i can't quite remember if i did but uh sorry if i'm repeating it so we're gonna have an iron golem farm at spawn and it's going to go by the trust system. We're hoping that nobody's going to steal from it. And uh, we're going to have ATMs in here. And people are going to be able to buy iron blocks in these ATMs. So it's going to be four iron blocks in the ATM equals one diamond. Now, the only thing that we haven't decided yet is what we're going to do with the diamonds. So uh, make, sure to, make sure to tell us, guys, because we still have not decided that. And you better do that terraforming. Um, so yeah, if you guys have a suggestion, feel free. Uh, does he have any potatoes? No, he hasn't. Um, I also saw this over here. It's pretty close to the road, which I don't like, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, but anyway, it's, um, wood shop. Uh, he put in, he put in a floor since last time. How's he getting light? Oh, there's a torch right there. Uh, so that's cool. Oh, I also saw this earlier. Uh, that thing over there. I don't know if it's someone's house or what, but... Uh, we're gonna go check it out. Oh, there's a chest here. Nothing in it, uh, so I'm probably gonna break it. Sorry if it's someone's, but it's trying to clean up spawn a little bit, you know? Um, lots of mobs. Kind of dangerous. I don't want to die, but, uh, I think we'll, I think we'll end up surviving. It's all good. Uh, we just gotta place torches as we go. Um, okay. Let's just keep placing torches. Smack this skeleton creeper right there let's just try to avoid him i just want to see what's up here all right all right so i saw some bushes with like cobblestone oh there's something up there too what is all this people make oh whoa whoa someone's doing some crazy work what's all this let's check it out um man i'm getting off track what is this is it oh holy balls Dang. Dang. Someone has a thing with chickens. You know, that's great. Hopefully, it's in the spawn chunks too. So, it might create a little lag, but you know, it's all good. We might get an upgrade on uh on RAM, so it's all fine. But um whoa, yeah, as you see, I'm getting a little bit of lag here, but it's fine. Uh, we're just gonna place torches for this guy. Whoever it is, I don't know. We're gonna go over to the... Oh, I have to place a sign on my nether portal. That reminds me, but I can do that later. It can, it can, it can wait. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so let's go over here. This looks really cool. Uh, lots of windows, which kind of caught my eye. Um, let's check it out. This looks really fancy. Let's kill all these skeletons. Let's knock this guy off the cliff. Well, let's just smack that guy over there. Alright, well, this place looks really awesome. It goes down. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, that's really cool. I like how it, um, how the entrance is over here. But, um, it, like, goes down and you can still see. Man, that's really cool. Uh, oh, what's this? I'm liking it. Oh, it's like a mine. Man, whoever this person is, they're doing some crazy work. Looks good. Lots of dark oak, but it looks great. Also, uh, Pizza Babies has a place, but, um, 
I don't think he has a portal set up, so uh, I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, we gotta go work on our shop. Uh, Ava, don't scream her name. Go get her. No, I want to. Uh oh. Okay. One second, guys. All right, guys. We're gonna finish off this episode nice and quickly. Now, uh, I, I, I haven't told you what we're gonna make the shop yet, but. It's gonna be called PFG Shoe Shine. Um, now, uh, it, it probably sounds kind of confusing. Like, how could how could you have a shoe shining place in Minecraft? Well, um, you know how when you uh, enchant things, they start shining. Well, um, it's not gonna be an enchanted bookshop. It's going to be more or less uh, an enchanting place shop. So, like, let's say. Um, somebody wants, uh, to enchant, or, like, somebody wants to enchant something, or, uh, I'll probably have, like, enchanted things in here, or, um, you know, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, what, what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna have, a uh, an order to form type of thing, so, uh, let me just quickly turn all this to this, because the dirt in here, for some reason, is just not working. You know, I think if we just get rid of that and get rid of all of this, then maybe it will. So, uh, we're gonna try that one more time. But, um, that means we would need more dirt, so we're not going to. Uh, so, basically what's gonna happen, there's gonna be an order form, and they're gonna be like, Hey, I want this enchantment on this. Uh, so, yeah, um... Now, if somebody enchants boots, then that's going to be special because it'll actually be shining shoes, you know, enchanting boots. But um, yeah, that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna be doing in this shop. So let's have a uh, where's a crafting table? I almost made another one, even though we have a ton. We're actually gonna plop two in here. Uh, let's make a chest. And oh, we had some. I keep just wasting wood, don't I? Uh. Let's put something right here, and what else can we put in here to make it look fancy? Um, we could put like, I want it to be something on me, because I'm lazy. I don't know, here, let's just make some uh, slabs, I guess, and we can go like this. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we could actually do that around the whole entire place. I guess uh let me see we could get rid of that and then yeah I guess that's doable yeah that's pretty cool all right um so uh we need to write our instructions now uh welcome to pfg's shoe shine you may not know what the shop is by the name so that's why this book is here all right um this book or this shop is a shoe shining shop because i Enchant and 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 enchant all any enchant or make shiny any thing you want me to from books two shoes put in the next page what you want or uh the next page will have the order form uh all right order form in tra 
instructions. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, diamond here. Uh, all right. Okay. All right, so, um, what's gonna happen? I think it depends on what they order. So, like, if they order a diamond chest plate, obviously it's going to be, uh, pretty expensive because, uh, like, let's say it's a diamond chest plate, prop four, it's gonna be pretty expensive. But, um, so, uh, what I'm gonna have them do, um, Put on the following page what you want me to enchant. Uh, keep in mind that the high, higher enchant and higher material the higher your price will be. Example, iron chest plate, chest place, uh, chest plate, prot four equals Um, eight iron, I'm trying to think, blocks, uh, diamond chest plate brought for would be more or less um, 20 maybe? Yeah, I want to say 20 iron blocks. Place your orders on the next page and I will contact you for um, play, er, here, let me be more specific. Tell me what you want me to enchant and what enchants you want on the next page and I will contact you for uh prices thanks for shopping at pfg's shoe shine from pfg all right there we go oops okay order here all right there we go here let's just start it off like that okay so um here we are uh we need a sign and we don't have enough wood um so let's go up here now let me think what i did there uh i said a diamond chest plate with prop four would probably be 20 iron blocks that would mean that it would uh be equivalent to uh five diamonds in the regular currency now uh, that's the only flaw in this currency is that we don't need this we don't need your things um, that would be the only flaw is that it doesn't really add up within the uh, numbers or um, how much it would actually be with diamonds but it's totally fine so uh, let's just put PFG's shoe shine join PFG shoe join PFG shoe shine. All right, there we go, everybody. I think PFG shoe shine is done, and that also means that the episode is done. Thank you much for watching this episode. Um,
you guys like the idea of the shoe shine i think it's a pretty good idea and that i might i probably will get a lot of business off of it even though it's going to be very hard to keep up with um so yeah spawn is really coming along uh people are making shops mostly on this road but you know that's expected and uh town hall is coming and uh we're gonna we're gonna have to set up the iron golem farm for spawn pretty soon and um I'm probably going to be sitting AFK generating a lot generating a lot of iron for the uh what's it called for the ATM over there and I'm not allowed to take any for myself it's all for the ATMs. Anyway, uh that's going to have to end it off for this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to smack that like button. It would really mean a lot. Uh and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already on Purple Fire Gaming and I will see you all later.